everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, before we get started, did you see that intro? That's right, this Sunday is a huge collaboration that I am doing with Massey Art Studio. So don't miss it. It's going to start at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel here, starting at 3 p.m. And then we will move on to uh, Jeremy and Lee's um, YouTube channel at Massey Art Studio for their video. And they are going to be premieres. So mark it on your calendar and be there to chat with us live during the video. 27 canvases, 27 colors. You're not going to want to miss this one, let me tell you. All right, next thing I wanted to show you really quickly are these cute little coasters I made. I've made them with the hardboard rounds that I'm selling. For those of you who don't know, I have wood rounds. And so I made these cute little, I'll hold two at a time. I made these cute little Dutch pours on these. They still need resin. As you can see, I still have tape on the back. Um, so I literally just put some paint on them and I blew it with my mouth and I ended up with this beautiful blue. And then what I did here, I'll show you these ones too. I did pink, pink with some gold. I used the um, luminous violet and the luminous um, rose and I added some 24 karat gold. And then I took my paint markers from Loli Veffy. I love these things. I have paint markers from Krylon, uh, Sharpie paint markers. Uh, I think there's one more brand and I have these and I've tried them all and I kid you not, these are my favorite. I love these. They are so vibrant and they work really, really well. I will not use anything else for silver and gold. Um, so you can get these um, from lolivefi.com and you can save 10% off your entire order using code Canela 10 But I wanted to show you, I did, I don't know if you can see that, I did a little very tiny rim of silver. You might be able to see it better with the gold. And then I went around it in silver. And then with the gold ones, you can see it better on here, I think. Yeah, can you see the little edge I did? So you have the edge and then I did these ones in gold because there's 24 karat gold on this. But, and it only needed one coat. I didn't do it twice, I only needed to do it once. So I'm super happy with that. And I'm going to put crystal resin on these and top coat them and then I will show you what they look like um, in an upcoming video. Um, so these coasters are available for purchase if anyone is interested in the set. And speaking of crystal resin, good news! So crystal resin is now offering free shipping to the US. That's right, you heard me right, free shipping to the US and on Amazon and on the website, they have now added the pigments. Let me get them for you. The four pack of, I only have the two right now, I'm getting the other two, it's in the mail. But black, white, and I think it's a turquoise and a cobalt blue, I think it, I can't remember, but it's a blue, a turquoise and a blue. It's a four pack of pigment pastes. You mix these in with your resin if you're doing any resin work. Um, so yeah, these are on the website now as well, and they are on Amazon as well, so you can order them on the website. And again, you can save 5% off using code CANELA5 and free shipping to the US. So I think that's all I wanted to say, I think. Um, the big 18 by 24, is dry and I just need to resin it. The triptych I did in the last video is still wet. So I had to be super careful about where I put it. And it's like on the floor at the other end of the studio. Cause I gotta make sure like no dust or hair or anything flies into it. But I had to move them because I had to do a video for tonight. So, um, but yeah, now I have space on my table because I got a resin. I got a resin this, look at it. It's, it, look at the gold shimmer. I can't get too close cause then I can't see what I'm doing. But there it is, 
18 by 24 inch. So this is going to get resin and uh, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that just yet because I've never done a piece this big, but we shall see. And I know you guys are going to ask, can I do a video on it? No, <laughs> I can't do a video um, with that. When I'm doing something like that, I need my head concentrating. I need to be in the zone. I need to make sure, uh, you know, I just, I can't. So watch my video number 227 on how I resin pieces. And it's literally going to be the same thing as that video, except for in the video, it's showing smaller pieces. So that's it. I am, yep, that's it. I'm going to bring you guys down, get set up. I'm going to show you guys what I'm up to today. Be right back. All right, everybody, I am back. I am ready. What we have here is a 24 by 24 inch canvas. And I have it standing on my furniture levelers, which I bought off Amazon. And these are the greatest things I have ever bought. I cannot tell you how amazing it is to be able to level your canvas with ease. So these are on Amazon. For those of you who don't know, they the bottom unscrews to a certain height and you can level your canvas. So I have these two unscrewed about that much to make my canvas perfectly level. And it's so much more easy and effortless than sticking popsicle sticks under there or whatever it is I used to stick under there to make it level. You get a set of four and I think on Amazon Canada, I paid 18 or 19 bucks. There was one that was for 10 bucks and I bought that one. And when I got them, they were garbage. Okay. So you get what you pay for. I thought, Ooh, $10. I'll save myself like eight or nine bucks. Yeah, no, that was a waste of time. They weren't actually great quality. They were really, really junky quality. So I did return them and I purchased the 18 to $20 ones. And those are listed in my Amazon shop in the description below. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So 24 by 24, I am going to flood my canvas with the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Floetrol and water. And that is how my paints are mixed as well. And for those of you who are new watching and want to learn my ratios, or you know, find out how I mix my paints, you can check out video number 63 on my YouTube channel. I will link it up here at the top. For those of you who are new, just click on the link and it's a full tutorial on my mixing ratios. All right, so I'm gonna flood that like so. And then I'm going to take my spatula which again is listed in my Amazon shop and I'm going to spread out my paints. So while I do this, I normally speed you guys up, but I figured story time. Um, in my last video, for those of you who watched it, you knew my husband was in the room in the studio watching because I was using his cell phone to uh, record one of the angles, which by the way, a lot of you commented and said you loved um, being able to have different angles and a close up of the pour. So I'm so happy you guys enjoyed that. And I'm so glad I did that. And if I ever do a big piece like that again, I will do that again. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that you guys, um, enjoyed that. And a lot of you really liked the music that I had playing as well. So that was a lot of fun too. Um, but a lot of you asked and said, Hey, you know, why won't your husband, you know, come into the screen so we can see him? My husband hates social media. And when I mean hates it, he hates it. Um, he doesn't like it, doesn't like being on camera. Um, I guess partly because of his job. And he's already in the spotlight enough with like his face plastered everywhere for work. So he doesn't like, <laughs> he doesn't like being on uh, social media very much but um anywho i might i'll think about it he might kill me if he finds out so <laughs> i might i might not but i might throw in a picture of him a quick glimpse of a picture of what my husband looks like because a lot of you said 
well, we've seen your dogs, we've seen your kids, but we've never seen what your husband looks like. So those of you who are investigators <laughs> and are, you know, just Google his name and you'll find him. But um, I will maybe sneak a pic of him here. <laughs> just don't tell him I, I did that because he might get mad. <laughs> Actually, no, not might. He probably will get mad at me, but he'll get over it. Um, but anywho, so yeah, it's amazing what you can find <laughs> when you Google something. <laughs> but anywho, um, speaking of, you know, family and whatnot, I don't know if a lot of you know, I have two brothers, um, one older brother and one younger brother, for those of you who don't know. So yeah, my story time is about my family. So I have two brothers, an older brother, and as I mentioned, a younger brother. So I am the monkey in the middle, and my older brother is two years older than me, and my younger brother is six years younger than me. And growing up, we always made fun of him and said, you were the oopsie baby. <laughs> we always laughed about that. But yeah, he is six years younger than me. So my younger brother, is um, a master electrician and has a beautiful family with two kids um, younger than mine. And then my older brother, um, so my younger brother lives actually close to my parents and my older brother actually lives uh, in New York. He lives in New York and has a job in New York and prior to that, he lived in Australia for about 10 years in New South Wales. And um, I don't know why, but the name, the also Wulumulu rings a bell. I think he lived there too. But anywho, now he's in New York and he is a um, graduated from university as a mineral engineer. So I have two smart cookies um, for brothers. But yes, and maybe, just maybe, I'll put a picture of them at the end of this video. That way you can see my brothers if I remember, okay? So don't kill me if I don't. Um, all right, so that was my quick story time. Let's get on to the colors I am using today. All right, so you've seen me do blues, you've seen me do purples, you've seen me do green and blues. It's been a while since I've done pinks. So I am gonna do a variation of pinks in this one. And doing those pink coasters over there is what one got me into doing this. So I am going to use cobalt violet. I know it's not pink, but I wanted to throw some shade of purple in there. Cobalt violet by Holbein. Then we have primary magenta by Winsor & Newton. And this is a color I haven't used in a long time. Berry by Deco Art. It has been a long time since I've used this color. Then we have Light Rose by Amsterdam, 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. Then we have Luminous Rose by Holbein. Then Iridescent Violet Blue by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And topping it off, I'm going to use the Luminous Violet by Holbein. So I'm really liking these colors. And that's eight colors. And you know what? I didn't even think about how I was going to do the lines. I've been so busy today, didn't even think about that. So I'm going to do that real quick. I think I'm going to do, I, I got to do the wispies because I'm really loving the wispies. So I'm going to go, I think like this and do a wispy down here and then maybe a wispy like this. I think that's what I'll do. I didn't even think about this. I should have thought about this prior. I usually do. You guys see the pencil marks on my canvases, but I didn't think about that this time around. So, whoa. If I go here, I don't want the wispies to be like, I don't want a wispy coming out this way and a wispy coming out the same way. It's gonna look like a big X, you know what I mean? So, oh bugger, I can't believe I didn't think about this prior. I always think about this prior now. I wasn't thinking. Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is now. All right, so if I do that, 
and I have a lot of negative space up here, obviously. So what if I did a wispy here? Oh, and a wispy going the other way, maybe? Why didn't I think of this sooner? All right, ding dong. Sugar. Down. Ugh. Hold, please. All right, all right, I'm back. So I, I had to get a piece of paper. I really wanted to think that through before I just started laying lines down without thinking about it. So I want to make sure I get rid of the negative space here. So I'm going to do uh, a wispy like that. And then over here, as I got my bottle of, in the white paint, and I'm going to do a little wispy over here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, perfecto. Now that I got my lines, let's get moving. All right. This is the, what color is this? Primary magenta. Oh, I just mixed this one today. This one's a new one. Haven't used this one before. Where's all this white paint coming from? What did I touch? What did I touch? All right, the berry. Now the berry, because it's a deco art and it's like the metallics and stuff, I try not to put too much because I don't want it to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want it to um, fractal my paints and, you know, kind of breaks up the paint, sometimes the metallic, so you don't want to put too much. All right, light rose. This should be interesting. Another reason why I wanted to do all pinks is because I'm hoping to get a new color design for merch. Um, you know, I have the blue, I have the multicolor, I have the purple. So we are thinking and, you know, ahead and thinking about new designs and new patterns for merch. So depending on how this one blows out and how much I like it, it could be the next pattern for merch. So we shall see how that pans out when I load this out we will see all right then iridescent violet blue i like the design though i think this is going to be pretty definitely and last color this is so pretty the luminous violet all right let's torch the bubbles real quick Speaking of story time, so my kids are on a week break, which is usually happens in March for March break. Um, it's kind of like your reading week in the US, but they moved it to April because of COVID. So now it's April, they did the March break week. So they're in this week off. And guess what? The government just announced that the kids are no longer going back to school for the rest of the school year. They are back to online learning, no more in school, still on full lockdown. I want to like shoot myself here. I, I can't believe everything that's going on. I'm, I have one bottle of Floetrol left, I kid you not. For those of you who remember, I bought eight gallons of it November 30th. For those of you who are long time watchers and saw me buy eight gallons and I even dated the bottles November 30th, I'm down to my last bottle and I hope I can go and get curbside, but I can't even go to the dollar store and get cups um tape to tape the back of my canvases i'm on my last roll of tape and the lockdown is supposed to be for like the next month to the end of the month at the very least so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do but <laughs> at some point i'll figure something out i don't know all right let's blow this out i'm going to start here let's let's do that
Wow. Wow, it's really pretty. Now over here, I kind of splattered it, which is no big deal because I'm gonna use my finger and bring it back just like that. But, ooh, look at this, which you probably can't see from where you are, but you will in the close up. Now I only, the only problem I think here <clears throat> is I had way too much white base paint. I was too busy chitter chattering and I wasn't paying attention to how much I was laying down on the canvas. And that could always pose a problem if you have too much. Um, someone had said to me, how can you tell how much is on the canvas? And I said I would try to use a popsicle stick. And like, I don't know how I could possibly tell you how much is on there. Um, it's, I really can't tell you how much I put on there. I've never actually measured it. It's not that much. It's like barely the tip of the popsicle stick. Like... Look, I, I don't know how else to explain that. It's not much. Um, the thing is, if you put too much, you're going to have a problem. So let me look at this now. The color, it's, it's definitely pink. It is so pink. It's really pink. And I'm loving the gold. I'm so glad I put the gold in there. Now I want to see. Yeah, see, there's a lot of white in there. Lots of white. Let's see if I can play around with this. As my hand touches the canvas on the corner. There's nothing I want to do here. I want to leave this. I'm not going to touch that. Um, there's some paint hiding under the white here. So I am going to torch this one part. Like so. And boy, lots of stuff popped up there. Uh, I don't want to torch anything else though. And I'm not going to touch this. I like that this didn't go over the edge. I really like it. I really do. Now I'm going to see if I can blow some excess white paint off the canvas. Yeah, see, there's not much here. I think it's more so over here. Um, let's see. Mm, not so much. It's just pooling in here a lot. But uh, I don't have a little pipette with me to suck it up. So I might just leave it as is. Okay. I, I love it. It's so pretty. And you know me, I'm not a pink person by any means, but I'm really liking it. And stay tuned for like an upcoming video in a week or so. I'm going to be doing all golds. Um, it's a commission for a client. So uh, that's going to be really interesting to see me do that. Um, okay, I am done with this. I'm going to just fix my sides up with white if they need it. And I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So here it is. Now, I have already gone ahead. I've taken, look, I found a pipette. It didn't do much though. Didn't help much. But anywho, um, take your sticks. Don't forget to scrape your drips underneath your canvas, which I have already done. But do that, come back to it 10 minutes later and do it again and do it a third time if needed. So there it is. Now let's bring you down. Very close up. It's so vibrant and I don't even think that the camera catches how vibrant it really is in person because I'm looking at it here in the camera and the colors are just not the same. So, but the shimmer in this is gorgeous. I'm so happy with this and I'm actually really, really loving it, even though pink's not my color, but I really like it a lot. Look at the cells so pretty so there you have it with the studio lights on let's turn them off all right let's see the shimmer which of course is from the 24 karat gold there's the berry the berry color oh it's so pretty and then of course the iridescent violet blue from Pebble. So those three 
But the main one is obviously the 24 karat gold. That is what makes the most shimmer. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. I'm really pleased with this. And as you know, this piece is available for purchase for you pink lovers out there. If you are interested in this piece, you can email me. Ooh, look at that. At canalaseraco at gmail.com. If you'd like to purchase this piece. Yeah, look at that. All right. And there you have it. Let's turn the lights back on. All right, everybody. So there you have it. That is today's video. Uh, I would love to know what you think about this in the comments below. Uh, don't forget, everything you need to know is listed in the description underneath the video. Um, you can find discounts to Loli Vefi, Crystal Resin, some glitter companies, silicone mold company. Um, check out all the info below. My Amazon links are also listed in the description below. And before I forget, to those of you who donated to my PayPal um, and sent money for Echo's birthday, you guys are so sweet. I ordered some really nice uh, treats um, from Amazon for him and for his brother because of course he must share. But thank you so much to those of you who donated so that I can buy some birthday treats for Echo. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Um, so that is it. Uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit that red subscription button and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded to YouTube. Don't forget, stay tuned this Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, and merch. I have new merch coming. I'm hoping to pick it up this weekend, so you will see it next week. So I'm hoping to show you guys some new stuff. So stay tuned for that. If you want to order any merch, you can email me again at, e at canelasaraco at gmail.com. So that is it, my friends. Until next time, I will hopefully see you guys on Sunday. If you cannot make it, don't forget, it'll just replay like a normal video after the premiere is over. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.